hi guys welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this skirt um so i'm going to try my best to explain it guys this skirt is very easy to make it just requires some calculations right so all you have to do i'm going to be making it in a miniature version but everything still remains the same so you just have to measure the length you want your skirt to be so let's say the skirt you're working with is so guys first thing you're going to start with is going to be the inner part of the skirt which will be the lining right because it's going to have a lining inside it's the lining that the skirt will be attached to the body of the skirt will be attached to you can see that her own is like a chiffon or uh, something like that that they use for the fab for the skirt so you're supposed to have something inside so let's say let's say your skirt is 40 inches of length what you're going to do, let's say like from your waist to the floor or wherever you want the skirt to be is 40 inches. This 40 inches is not going to be the length of your lining. Your lining might stop at least 10 inches before what the length of this skirt will be. So let's say your lining can stop at 30 inches, right? So let's say the lining length, the length of this lining. So I'm going to start with tracing the lining on a paper just so you see what it, look, it looks like this is very easy how you're going to do it is basically you're going to have a fabric the, the fabric first one folded into two second one folded into two um um also bearing in mind that the one for the back will have a zip at the back so what you're going the width is going to be okay first of all the length is going to be the 30 inches that we just determined now which is 10 inches um you can stop 10 inches before because you can't make the the lining the same length as this so that's why i said at least 30, 30 is okay subtract 10 inches from this 10 inches before the full length of the skirt is okay so let's say this the length is 30 inches on this now so how you're going to determine the width is just you see my front panel what you can do is your width here you're going to do um your hip divided by four let's say your hip divided by four is 10 you're going to go ahead and add like extra um five to four inches here right so that's how you're going to get the width so let's say five inches is okay because that is what you need for the bottom part you don't want it narrow at the end so let's say four to five inches anyone you want you can use for the bottom part so basically what you're going to do is once you have that width as the fabric you're going to have one inch for the back lining and then what you're going to do is just my waist measurement divided by four i'm going i'm going to go ahead and add it whatever it is add it come down here and then to uh, come down to the um, bottom part of my skirt and then i'm going to insert my hip divided by four whatever it is mark that and then like i said you're going to go ahead and add a few more inches to it which is your hip divided by four plus extra four inches so let's say you add the extra four inches now and this is what you have right but bearing in mind that these four inches or five inches you added your seam allowance is still going to be coming out from this here so once you do that you're going to also go ahead and add seam allowance to the waist so once you add your waist divided by four add seam allowance to it also and then you're just going to go straight from your waist and then connect it to the um to the end of this here it's almost like you're making an a-line you see so this is basically going to be the skirt so this is our waist and then this is the end of the skirt but make sure that this is the um the um the end here so but make sure that in between here like 10 inches from your waist down which is supposed to be where your hip would be try to make sure that your hip measurement actually fits in here so once you do my waist divided by four mark it add one inch to it mark that come down here make sure that your hip divided by four will also fit in here with extra like two inches not just one extra like two inches or more because another thing you don't want is you don't want it fitted at the hip you also don't want it fitted at the at the bottom part because remember it's supposed to be free so that's why i don't want to say your hip divided by four plus one inch of seam allowance is your hip divided by four plus extra like two inches more so that one inch of ease and one inch of seam allowance or you just connect the waist to the hip something like that that is a line straight you've cut everything you need all you have to do is just to cut it here why i started with this is just that this is the basics for this dress and once you cut for this skirt once you cut this out come up here by at least one inch like this blend it into the body of this skirt now and then you can go ahead and cut it off right 
so that this end here will not drop too low right that's why it's always advisable to do that so once this is done now i'm going to have two panels at the back and one in front right so i'm going to have two of these in front and one of these at the back so these two here and then one of these in front the one at the back is still wider because of my zipper allowance that is added to it so with that said now the next step is going to be to calculate the length of your skirt you're going to divide it by three or four or whatever how many how many tiers you want to have so for this 40 now i want my skirt to be um three i'm not sure how many is on the video i think it's three or four i'm not sure but this if let's say it's um three right so this 40 now remember you're not going to use the one for the lining you're still going to go back and use the exact measurement of this here divided by four or divided by how many that you want your tier to be so let's say i want mine to be three so so guys what i'm going to do is this 40 now i'm going to divide it by three like i said and that's why i have 13 points um 13 point just call it 13.3 right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my tape now and mark 13.3 so let's say this is where my first so starting from the waist like i said this is going to be the waist of your skirt after you've marked everything so you're going to start from the waist now and mark the first 13.3 mark that so let's say it's somewhere here on the hip line and then the next line i'm going to mark again is the next 13.3 so from this point now another 13.3 right so wherever that is i'm going to also go ahead and mark that note that it's going to be longer than this because it's so that means my first layer like i said i divided it by three right so that means you're going to share it three equal parts so the first part here you're going to share your remember is the length of the skirt you're working with not the 30 so whatever you get 13.3 i marked from that point to this point is the first 13.3 you mark the second 13 starting from this point again mark the next 13.3 and then the last one if you notice it's going to come down lower because the last one you're missing about 10 inches here so that means all you can accommodate at this lower part will be like let's say three inches that is if you're working with a skirt length of 40 that 40 inches is already um 10 inches is already missing from the complete length of this skirt so that will, that will mean that three inches when you divide your full length here before you the line where you're going to add your because these lines that we're marking here is just going to be the line where we are going to be attaching the flay so that means 10 inches is missing to complete the length of this skirt if that makes any sense so um um now what i'm going to do next is just to go ahead and um, start to cut my flay so what this this whole thing i just did now you're going to cut it on the lining and then mark your lines turn the back the same thing extend this same line at the back here but at this point you've already joined both the front and the back together right and then you also have your lines immediately waiting for you right so now all you have to do is you're going to go ahead take your skirts measure around your waist so you're going to take your skirt measure from one side of the back to this side here come back over and measure to this point write it out so let's say you measure the front the first one the first one is supposed to actually be your waist measurement it can't be less than that it has to be your waist measurement plus like let's say two inches that is going to be the zipper allowance so let's say we started at waist of 30 my first layer layer one is going to be 32 then you measure what this second layer is because this is our first layer this is going to be the second layer and this is going to be the third layer to complete this skirt so after that you take your tape again start from one side of the back one side of the back like this measure what this second layer is right all the way cross over to the other side so let's say what i have here is let's say i don't know maybe 50 for layer two come down again to the third layer you will notice that the difference will be much right you come down to the third layer again measure from one side of the other this here all the way to the other side here because all our seams are going towards the center back and the center back is this part here that is going to form the zipper let me fold it so you see it's going to be forming our zipper i'm still going to cut this on the lining but i'm just illustrating it here so 
this part here all of them are going towards the center back so you're going to measure this third layer so maybe we did our third layer and then we have about um let's say 62 so guys we've calculated everything round the waist for the first one is 32 round the waist for the second one is 50 round the waist for the third one is 62 this will help us to determine what we're going to be using to cut each layer guys once you've done this here you've done most of the part of this here so like i explained fold your lining into two but the width of your the length of your lining subtract at, at like 10 inches from it that's how you're going to get the length for the width what you're going to do is basically your hip measurement divided by four plus let's say extra four inches so that you it will help you not to because if not it's going to just be a straight skirt but you're trying to make it an a line so that you can be able to walk with it right it's just the, the room we're giving it is just for you because it will not have slit at the back so the room you're giving it is just for the bottom part so that you can have some room when you're walking so that's the extra four or five inches that you added at the bottom every other thing is just your waist measurement connected to that bottom part of the skirt and that is it then you go ahead divide the full length of your skirt whatever you want the skirt to be i know you're considering the band we we'll still get to the band whatever you want the full length of your skirt to be 40 is what i said i'm working with right you're going to divide that 40 by three layers or four or four layers or five layers whatever you're working with but just bear in mind that everything i'm saying here is for three layers because if i decided to do four layers now that would be 10 10 into four for 40 inches of length skirt length that means that would be confusing everybody now because that means my skirt length i can't subtract four four inch um, 10 inches from it if that makes sense but i don't want to go into that so bear in mind we are doing the three layers and um after that you you mark the first you put your tape at the point that is the waist of your skirt mark the first 30 um 13.3 mark the second one and then the third one um, um sorry from this point now to mark the third one is to be the full length of the skirt right which is that 10 inches that is missing we have that settled after that measure round first we measure layer one which is the upper part of this measure layer two which is the second line measure layer three which is the third line write out all the measurements set it aside now we're going to go ahead and start cutting it out on our fabric so guys like i said we are going to go ahead so i've done it on a lining just to better explain it so you see guys i think for that bottom part it will be better if you do like three inches right because there's no way three to four inches is perfect because there's no way that is not enough for you when you're working because remember it's it's not just three inches on one side that three inches is also going to be on four sides so that should be enough for you you understand like what i'm saying is this bottom um the extra that we added at the end if um it will be okay if you use just extra three inches at this side because remember that because when we are cutting it is on this fold right so when you do your hip divided by four plus three you're still going to have like or five you're still going to have that five on this side on this side on this side like on four sides of the fabric so i think it might be too much because you have to also put into consideration the fact that you're going to be measuring this lower part round going round round and round to the back it's going to be a lot of fabric to get the opening that will go round that and remember we're cutting it on a full circle so just because of that i would um i would reduce the measurement and do three to four inches so that's in case if you take away your seam allowance it's still together you understand so ideally three inches is okay if you take away your one inch you have two inches on this side two inches on this side two inches on this side of the back two inches so that's extra what eight inches eight inches is an eight inches added to your hip measurement is enough opening at the bottom of your skirt to walk around except you're looking for it to give you like flare or something then you can just do what you want so now to cut the the flay what i'm going to do is you see what i have here so my skirt now what i was explaining before is for the first layer which is this one here the upper one this is our second one this is our third one right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start from one side of the back here and measure what the waist is like i said you're including even this zipper allowance so whatever you get what i wrote out before was like 32 that's if your waist is 30 um 30 right so whatever i got here so for me i'm just going to put that in 
and divide it whatever you get divide it by 6.28 so that's how you're going to get it so whatever it is 32 divided by 6.28 So guys, the reason I'm not saying the measurement I'm getting with this smaller one is because if I'm voicing this measurement, I'm voicing this one, it will be confusing. So like I said now, so assuming that I measured this now, my first layer is 32 point, I'm um, sorry, 32. All I have to do is 32 divided by 6.28, whatever I get, I'm going to get my fabric, fold it into four. So this is my fabric that I'm working with, right? You're going to get your fabric fold it one fold it into two and then go over to this corner here this is where you're going to be inserting your measurement first you're going to get what the waist measurement is and to get what your waist is is basically that measurement of round this waist here divided by 6.28 so whatever you get go ahead and mark it from this point here put your tape at this point here and insert that measurement so i'm going to just insert mine now put my tape insert it go ahead and just so you see you've marked it all the way around and then you're going to remember the measurement that we divided it in here remember we did 13.3 all the way 13.3 before the next one 13.3 before the next one that 13 because we're going to need half an inch to join it to this point here and then one inch to fold the end of the cloth like how you normally fold the end of the cloth so we initially we had 13.3 then we need plus half an inch to join it to the top part of the skirt. One inch to fold the end of it so that it's not like rough, right? One inch to fold the end of this, like this, like the end of the flay, something like this. So that's 1.5 already. But you will need at least 1.5 again to come down and cover the upper part of this next layer. So that's how you're going to add another, if you want, you can do two inches, you do another 1.5 added to it. So that's three inches plus this. So now the total length I'm working with is going to be 16.3. You understand? 1.5 plus 1.5 plus this. This initial 1.5 is just the seam allowance. Join half to this point, one inch of folding the edge. The other 1.5 is just so that when my flay from this upper part now stops here, it's not going to just to hang here. When the wind blows, it's going to show the, the seam that is attached here. So in order for it to come down and give me some coverage, just a little coverage to cover this upper part before the next one goes underneath it, I'm going to do 1.5. So that 1.5 added extra to the length. This is the length we're talking about. So that's three inches. So now, like I said, I've gotten my width divided by 6.5. That's round this here divided by 6.25, right? Whatever I got, I put my tape at the edge here, the edge with the curve, put it here, mark it all the way around. So now, that my 13 that I initially got plus all this measurement is what will help me now determine the length. The first mark we have is the waist. The next length you're going to have is the length, if that makes sense, like the length. So now, what I have here is about this here. So just assuming that will be 6.3. So go ahead and mark 16.3, put your tape here, and then you're going to mark from this point here, put your tape here, mark the 16.3 once, take back your tape, add up the whole length so that it will help you, because if you put your tape on this curve here to start marking it, it will confuse you. So it's better to take up the tape to the top and measurement when you marked it initially, and then just use it as landmarks to know that addition of the two of them because this point is better to mark from this point it will distribute your flay better than to mark from this side here because remember this here when you're cutting it is going to be a very big fabric this is just a miniature version here and it's already like this so so um once you mark that second one now this is what you're going to do you're going to go ahead and cut it so this is me cutting mine now so guys, once I cut off the upper part, cut off the lower part, this is what I'm left with. Like I said, this hair is cut in a full circle. That's the only way you can get all that flay. You can, and, and that's why the 6.28 is a constant. You use it for any measurement. You're using it for anybody. So now all I have to do is just to go ahead and split this open at this upper part here. Like this. Because if I leave it like this here. You see, it's like half a circle, but if I open it, it's like a full circle. And that's what we're using. So now all I have to do is just take it this way. You see what I'm going to do here? 
and then you're going to join it to this upper part of your skirt and this is the first layer you see this is going to be the first layer of the skirt here so it use half an inch to join it here go ahead the one inch that we added the half half an inch here is to join this upper part to the waist one inch of this here is to fold the end of this ruffle here this other 1.5 that came together here added together is the coverage of the length that is going to extend to cover this line underneath here and this line now you're going to go ahead again measure what you have on this line like this total so 19.5 is what i have it what i was we saying before is like okay the first layer is 32 second layer is 50 this one is 62 so whatever your own is now at this point you go ahead and measure it so for me whatever i'm working with i'm going to go ahead again divided by 6.28 like we did before so so i've gotten what i need i'm going to go ahead again and mark it so from this point again you're going to put in your tape and mark everything all the way like this once you've marked it the same length is what you're now going to continue using this 16.5 doesn't change i used it at the top i'm going to use it again here i'm going to use it again here i'm going to like just like that because all that changes here now is just the waist because because the skirt goes wider as it's ending like towards the end here you see so the only thing that is going to differ is just the measurement here just like how we have it here 32 the first line 50 the second line um 62 the third line that's why i was saying as you're getting to the end part you see that the the the, the waist i'll just use the word the waist because it's just like the upper part of the skirt right is going to keep increasing so now what you're going to use again is the same 16.5 so i'm going to place my tape again find where that 16.5 or 16.3 is again for me so you're going to place your tape first at where the waist is from the waist to the 16.5 mark it take back up your tape to the beginning add the two of them together know where you mark that initial line use it as the number so whatever you marked before now add it together and then use it as the line for the whole skirt, right? Connect it like this. Go ahead, cut this out. And then you're going to have your second line. So this is it here. If I open it up again, it's half a circle. All I have to do is just to go ahead and slit one side open like this. And then you see, we have the second layer. So this second layer is going to go over to this point here. Like this, you see? mine might not be giving you much coverage here but remember it's just a miniature version and most of my measurements are not accurate so but the first layer like i said the first layer is the only one we are going to be adding facing up once we get to this second layer and the, the subsequent ones what you're going to do is turn it over like this because you need a way to hide your seam you need a way because this first one now is like this because this rough end here is going to fit into my band the skirt band right but this next one now there's no there's no reason for me to leave it this way you see then what happened to this end so the best way to do it is turn it over like this to the wrong side so it's using half an inch on that line maintain that line all the way using half an inch right and then once you're done turn it over like this and iron it that means your seam will be hidden under under this here you see your seam will be hidden underneath like this and then it will still cover you understand so you're going to so guys like i said for the third one the same thing take your fabric fold it into two fold it again into four go to the end with this curve guys you can't do um half a circle for this if you really want that flowiness that came with the video you can't do half a circle half a circle will not give you this this kind of flay half a circle might just look straight down so it's better to do full circle that way you can get all the flay and flounce that you need right except you don't have the fabric for it so you can do that after that the same method again measure the third layer now whatever you get you see it keeps going up divide it again by 6.28 come to your fabric mark it on the on the point where it's supposed to be once you finish marking it the same length again 16 point this mark from the lower part where is the 16 points uh five added to it take up your tape to the top part here add everything together and mark it as the full length of the skirt 
once that is done go ahead and cut it out and then now you have the three layers of your skirt together the three layers all you have to do is just to go ahead and add the so guys this is the skirt here you see so this is basically what it looks like so in a bigger one now the the length coming down here will be almost 10 inches because remember this part here is like three inches shorter if you want once you're done you can go ahead fold this here and hem it down if you want you can still leave it the way it is because it's not frail this is lining cutting lining for me at least so now this is what i have all i have to do is just get my band at least it's going to be let's say four inches of weight fold it into two make sure it's exactly the waist my waist measurement that is 32 that i spoke about initially which is 30 is my waist measurement one inch of side zipper here one inch of side zipper here just take the band here width of four inches fold half an inch here fold half an inch here join the two together like this take the waist of my skirt put it inside like this and then go ahead and sew it all the way to the end like this once it's done close the side here and put in your zipper so that's basically it so all you have to do is once you put in your band go ahead and tuck in all this here make sure you tuck it in like this this fabric here push it in and maintain a straight line here close it up insert your zipper all the way to your band and that's basically it so this is what the skirt looks like i hope i um you guys uh, were able to ex understand what i explained and um, that's basically it. thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video guys please like share and subscribe bye